Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's a little bit different. Uh, I want to muse a little bit about uh, about a topic that has been on my mind, and that is how many pens we have inked, how many pens we use, all those kinds of things. So a little while ago, I was on tour around regional Australia and filmed the first part of this video there. So uh, let's go back in time to when I had a slightly different character's hairstyle. It's not my normal look, but it's what I do for my job. Uh, and uh, we see uh, the beginning of what I actually got up to. Today I'm uh, shooting a video on the road. I've been, uh, I'm on tour in regional Australia, currently in a place called Wagga Wagga in New South Wales. Um, and I'm touring an opera here. The opera is Barbara Seville. I'm having a lot of fun playing the uh, grumpy Dottor Bartolo. I've generally tried to keep my inked pens to a particular, like a, to a smaller amount. I generally think something between the five to seven range is about the most I would like to have inked at any point. That includes both inks, uh, pens inked for personal use and also reviews. Um, otherwise, if I have too many inked, there are too many choices and I end up not really enjoying any of them. Now, a little while ago, I did a thing called the three pen challenge. Uh, and my rule for that was that for the entire month, for a particular month, um, I could only have three pens inked at a time. Uh, and the only reason I could ink a new one was if I ran one out. So there was no cheating, no like cleaning out a pen uh, and uh, putting, you know, you know, washing away ink. I had to run the pen out and then I could ink up another pen or ink that same pen again with a different ink, but only three pens inked at a particular time. But something that I've, I'm have i doing at the moment and being on tour kind of forces me to do this is that I purposefully left with only one fountain pen. So I have a ballpoint pen with me. Oh, actually I have at the moment, it's this. This is from Muji. It's a multi pen. It's got a pencil and a red pen and a blue pen. Uh, ballpoint, standard ballpoint. I use the pencil on this, uh, and if I need to use a ballpoint pen, I've got it here. These travel with me everywhere I go. <laughs> everywhere I go. It lives in my backpack, all that kind of stuff. Actually lives uh, in my Galen Leather zippered folio here that I have my Hobonichi Techo in. But only one fountain pen, and for those who followed my tour last year or any of my social media, you know that a pen that I've really come to love for this purpose is this. This is the Estabrook Camden. Uh, I got this pen, uh, this was actually sent to me for review a couple of years ago, uh, just before COVID struck, uh, when the pen came out, and uh, I loved it. Um, well, actually, I, gr I liked it, and I grew to really love it. And one of the reasons I grew to really love it was that it is super, super reliable. That it is one of my, personally, in my collection, one of my favourite everyday writer pens. So at the moment, this is the only fountain pen I have with me. Now this tour, at the moment, we're sort of, as I said, weeks into it. And uh, it's uh, got a number of weeks left to go. Uh, and this is the one pen I'm using. And even more than that, I've only brought one ink. And that is Dimine Oxford Blue. Now I've brought a few cartridges of it, but also one of the little Dimine 30ml bottles. Um, so this is the only pen and ink combination I'm in for the entire tour, for the two months, two and a half months of the tour that I'm going to have to write with. So all of that was just a bit of an introduction as to what, you know, this is all about and what I did. And so what I want to talk about now is what I found. So I had this, as I said, the Estabrook Camden with me. And... With one ink and one pen, for the most part, there were a couple of days where I tacked, where I used a different ink uh, based on a hotel I was staying at. I was staying at the Matador Hotel in a particular town, so I had to use Dimine Matador for those few days. Uh, but for the most part, I used Dimine Oxford Blue with the Estabrook Camden. And what I found was the more I used that combination, that one pen and that one ink, the more I didn't miss everything else. Now, since I've been back, yeah, I've inked up a bunch of other pens and I've done reviews of other pens and that's fine. But when it came down to it, using that one ink, I didn't feel I was missing anything. You know, I'm a, I'm a fountain pen user. I'm not a collector. The pens I get, I get because they're great pens, because I enjoy them, because they write well, all of that kind of stuff. They have to tick a certain amount of boxes. And so when I'm even when I'm reviewing pens, I'm reviewing them from that user's perspective. And for me, that is the... 
the reason I do this is because I want to pass on the information to you that is how this pen is going to work, how it's going to, you know, how it's going to feel writing with it, all of that kind of stuff. And so if I needed to do headlines or underline things, I could do them in the same color and they still stand out. You know, like it's not, it's not, you know, sometimes I have a pen ink, as I said, for like doing headlines or you know, underlining or something stand out and that's great. But if you've only got the one pen, you've only got one hand to write with. And so while it's not something I want to do all the time, having just one pen inked, I kind of think like it showed me that I could. And so why do I always have six, seven, ten pens inked? Well, yeah, sometimes I'm reviewing pens and I need those inked for that purpose. Sometimes you just end up with like a desk full of pens inked up because you wanted a particular ink or a particular pen or whatever. That's okay. But I find that the more I used this, the more I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this pen more. I enjoyed the ink more. Um, and so it's something I'm going to think about going ahead is, you know, just having less pens inked because I want to enjoy that. I want to enjoy the pen and the ink. This is a really good pen. The Estabrook Camden is not a slouch. You know, I, I've used a lot of pens over the years. I've got more pens than I care to admit. And I'm actually downsizing, like, and this is part of that process as well. Like, it gives me the opportunity to go, you know what? I only want to write with pens I love writing with. I only want to keep the inks in the pens that bring me joy. There's that, like, Marie Kondo thing, you know, like, you know, does this pen make me happy? Do I enjoy writing with it? If not, why do I have it? I'm not a collector. I'm not, I don't have, like, a, a shelf system filled with limited edition Mont Blancs. There's no point. For me, that's not, that's not why I do this. I, I'm a pen user. I love fountain pens because the way that they write, when they're good, they are great. And so I really enjoyed using this one pen and I'm glad to have all my other pens back and I'm glad to be able to write with my Visconti Homo Sapiens and my Want to Dream pen and all that kind of stuff. Like they are beautiful, beautiful pens and they are pens that I will continue to ink and to write with for years to come. But having one pen, one ink, it just made me realize how much I actually enjoy having using fountain pens and that like my needs are actually very simple the pen needs to write well the pen needs to feel nice in my hand I have to be able to write with it for a long period of time because if I'm doing something like writing out lyrics to write out all the lyrics to a, you know to an opera including like a translation can take hours and so I need to feel comfortable writing with it and enjoy writing with it for that and something like this pen or the Limey 2000 or uh, the Parker Jewel Fold or the Diplomat Excellence A2 these pens fit that so well. And so the one pen challenge, the self-inflicted one pen challenge, I found very interesting. The three, I loved. The one I found very interesting and made me just realize how much I enjoy this. So I'd love to know your thoughts. I want to know what you find with your pen inkings, why you ink up what you ink up, why, you know, like how many do you normally ink, Do you, how do you use them, how do you get through them, do you end up like emptying pens that you haven't finished or do you write every pen dry let's keep this discussion going i'd love to hear from you about it uh but yeah thank you for watching and uh i certainly found this interesting and i hope it gave you something to think about so please like and subscribe hit the notifications button uh, if you've got something you'd like me to look at or if there's a way you would like to support my channel get in touch i'd love to hear from you in the meantime enjoy your pen singular and i'll talk to you soon